Hey folks, welcome to Everyday KT number 127. <clears throat> so, that in itself is a majority of what we're talking about tonight. Um, <clears throat> consistency. And what that means is, if you're going to do something, do it. Keep doing it, and do it often and always. If, you know, if you're going to do a video... Every week, like Corey McDonald does uh, for the Kilted Realtor, every Thursday, you guaranteed you're gonna go see his video. Uh, Chris, he's got his video every day. He does one as well. <clears throat> I don't remember what exactly what time he hits the air, but it's every day. I'm on at roughly nine o'clock every single night. What that does is that builds your audience because they know that at whatever time whatever in the day they're going to get to consume whatever it is that you do so first you know you start out and things are suck because you get one person watching two people watching no people watching okay well it takes time to build an audience take time it takes time effort and a lot of work to succeed so what do you do you keep doing it. You want to get awesome at, at hammering? Hammer all the time. You want to be a great speaker? Go talk all the time. Um, you want to quit smoking? Don't smoke every day. Simple. I know it sounds simple. It is really, 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 really difficult to do that, though. The reason is, it's called life. It's called kids. It's called the job. It's called a mortgage. It's called all kinds of things that have to happen. For you to live. That kind of stuff gets in the way. It. But but it's having that consistency. It's like you know what. I have all this other crap going on in my life. But I'm going to take the effort. And make the decision. To stick with this one thing. And do it. Every single day. Or every week. Or whatever time schedule you're on. And that's how you succeed, because what happens is you start doing your thing on that time schedule, you stick to it, more people see it. Like, well, wait a minute, I know that it, at 9 o'clock I can go see KT, talk about cool stuff. Okay, 9 o'clock every day. Done. Eastern time, that is. If you're in California, it's like 6 o'clock or Washington. Um, so you're able to, you, you know ahead of time, and you know that it doesn't matter how crappy your day is, Odds are I'll be able to say something, at least put a smile on your face because it sounds stupid. Or it's inspiring or God knows what else. It could be anything. But it's there. Every day, like clockwork, at almost 9 o'clock. Because, you know, I'm... I, me being on time is... A, I don't even know what. So, that's how you find success. Is you stay consistent. You keep doing what it is you're trying to do. All the time. Uh... And it's, it sounds really easy. It is a huge pain in the ass and it's extremely difficult because, like I said, life gets in the way. You have a hard time trying to juggle all of the things in your life that make life, you know, that make you living. All of those things that, that you are doing, it's difficult. But what happens is people start seeing that effort and they're like, well, wait a minute. He has all of these different things going on in his life or her life and he's still chugging along every day doing this doing doing it every single day kilting is the perfect example the amount of shit people get the first couple times they wear a kilt is astronomical everyone who's put a kilt on the first time knows especially if you don't live in an area that is highly populated with people who wear kilts you catch a lot of hell first couple times but just stick with it and you become better at wearing your kilt if you will and over time people are like yep there goes whatever in this in their kilt it's and it just it's easier for you because you've developed all those internal things you need to be able to go out be confident in yourself and be a strong individual and say you know what screw you guys i'm wearing my kilt i'm doing it that's what's happening and if you don't like me wearing my kilt okay well that's fine you have an opinion i do too and they're obviously not the same fine it's just with everything else driving everyone here learned how to drive most likely 
How'd you get better at it? You started practicing. You learned how to walk. You learned how to talk. You learned how to do anything you learned how to do. It took hard work, effort. Can you imagine if you could actually recall how much effort you put into learning how to walk as a baby? That effort is astronomical. How many times little babies bust their asses, fall on their heads, crash, get hurt, all of that stuff in an effort to walk? It, it, I can't count the number of times both of my kids fell trying to walk. But you know what? Now they're walking. They put in the time. They put in the effort. Why can't you do that with everything else you do in your life? So you keep doing that, but you have to be consistent about it. You know, if you're, if you're going to do something, do it all the time. You know, be th that rock that people can count on so that they know that it doesn't matter what kind of craziness is going on in there, they can go tune in on Thursday to watch Corey do his real real estate deal. They can tune in 9 o'clock to see me here and every day. So you have to stick to it. If you're going to succeed, you got to stick to it and you have to be consistent. If you're going to build something, build the same thing over and over so that the quality and, 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 and what it is you're doing shows and people can see that you cannot do it once. Look at all the one-hit wonders in the music industry. They're awesome once. That's not success. That's that that's that's hit striking while the fire is hot already. You want to be awesome, you do 25 number ones. That's awesome because you're consistently awesome all the time. Millions of one-hit wonders. How many bands made a ton of money off one song in the 80s and none of us remember what their names are? Unless you go to a bar and it's 80s night and it's, a, it's like, I remember that song, blood. I have no idea who it is. Who sang it? They're doing TV shows about house selling or crap like that. That's not success. That's not consistency. That's a flash in the pan. So, you want to succeed, and it's not just at business, at work, at life. Consistent. Wake up. You want you want true consistency? Breathe. Perfect. That, that is the example. You want to, you want the. Success, the, the recipe, it's called breathing. You're breathing in and out constantly, all the time. doesn't matter what you're doing, you're breathing. And you're living and living in success because you're still here. You stop breathing, we all know what happens. Do that with everything else in your life. Treat everything else like it's you're trying to breathe and you're going to succeed. It's a given. So, with that... Uh, Somebody check out a uh, check out a Kiltology. Somebody. It's uh Gold Rush is on and the kids are watching it and they're waiting for me to come watch it with them. So, somebody, which uh, which version? Boom, Carl, swinging for the fences. I think you got the same one yet. I think you got it yesterday too. No, I picked yesterday. <laughs> so this again I, I, it happened again open it up boom it, it, it pertains to today to today Kiltology number 419 how to get rich here is the Kilties guide to getting rich obtain and wear kilt regularly see that regularly consistency Create and maintain relationships with all the new people you meet as a result of wearing the kilt. Personal life, business, all of these things. Exact same thing. Consistency. Enjoy all the new opportunities presented to you as a result of wearing your kilt. You wear the kilt all the time. People want to talk to you more often because they're curious above all else. For whatever reason, their intentions may be benevolent or otherwise, or benign or otherwise, but you know what? They still want to come talk to you. Go have fun with all the new people you meet as a result of wearing your kilt. Back to the consistency. You wear the kilt more often, more people want to talk to you. More people want to talk to you, more people want to hang out with you and go do fun things with you. And eventually, that turns into business relationships almost all the time. Number five, and it's in list form, one through five. If you are able, see, number one, and repeat. What does that mean? So you've done all this cool stuff with that first kilt you bought. No, go get a different one. 
get another one. Go check out the, that new Utilikill uh, switchback that you've been looking for because it's really sweet. And you're like, I really need one of those, but I want another kilt. I don't want another tartan kilt because I've already got one. So I'm going to try that other one. Switchbacks are the way to go. They're awesome. A little, little pricey, but trust me, they're worth every nickel. So right there, again, same concept. Five, six years old writing. Exact same thing right here. If you want to succeed, keep doing what you're doing and do it often. And if you can, stick to a regular schedule. So other people can predict when to find you, when to consume your content, when to buy your stuff, when to see you do whatever it is that you're doing. The more that happens, the more regular it becomes, the more people will show up and the more awesome life will be for you. So with that, I bid you adieu. Go have some fun tonight. Shenanigans. Be strong. Put a kilt on. Talk to you tomorrow.